When you are reading a story, distractions can and will happen. The key is to know how to deal with them. There are four common types of distractions. The first is the distraction caused by the storyteller. If they make a mistake or error, their tendency might be to apologize or retrace the story or lose their calm. But the best way to deal with a mistake is to simply correct it and move on. Chase the dog, not chase, claws the dog, I'm sorry, claws the dog or scratch the dog, you're right. I tend to just go on <laughs> because uh, usually the kids don't know the story anyhow and so to have fun with my mistake and I own up to my mistake. Everybody makes mistakes. The only one who remembers the mistakes is the story reader. By the time the children have finished listening to the story, they don't remember that you made that mistake. There are also outside distractions over which no one has any control, such as a sudden noise from another room or an audience member arriving late. Briefly acknowledge the distraction and then begin reading again. Try to draw the children's attention back in by either changing your pace or the pitch of your voice. Then there are distractions caused by children who are not paying attention or not sitting still. Involving that child in the story generally takes care of this type of distraction. For large groups, it is often helpful to have other adults present who can help direct the child who is causing a distraction. Lastly, there are distractions caused by children who make comments or ask questions about the story. If they are actively involved in the story, if they think they are participating in it, they will make comments all the way through that story. Sometimes the comments are appropriate and sometimes they are not. Acknowledge the child's perspective by responding to appropriate questions and comments and then moving on with the story. If a child continues to interrupt, you may need to simply make eye contact and nod your head as a response before quickly continuing to read. While all of these things will help you perfect the art of reading to children, the most important thing to remember is to have fun. It really is all about love. Love the children you are reading to. Love what you are doing, and the rest will follow. And remember, when you are reading to children, you are not just holding a book in your hands. In a very real way, you are holding the future of those children in your hands.